Hey guys and welcome to my channel Mathlete. In this video I'm going to teach you an alternative method to solve uh, any quadratic inequality. So let's get started. Here I've written a quadratic inequality. I'm going to start by factorizing it. I'm sure you're all familiar how to factorize a quadratic expression. Plus 2x can be rewritten as plus 4x minus 2x minus 8 is less than 0. In this pair I can factor out x. So that will give me bracket open x plus 4. In this pair, I can factor out minus 2. So that will also give me x plus 4 inside the brackets less than 0. So let's rewrite them. x minus 2 times x plus 4 is less than 0. Now again, as we did in the previous examples, let's assume for a while that instead of this inequality here, we are given equals to 0. So that would mean x minus 2 equal to 0, which will lead us to the conclusion that x equals to 2. Or x plus 4 equals to 0, which will lead us to the conclusion that x is equal to negative 4. Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to draw a number line. So here we have a number line. Now what this number line is basically doing is it's representing the x values. Here as we know if we move towards the right side of the number line it will get more and more positive and if we move towards oops if we move towards the left side it will get more and more negative. Now what I want you to do is I want you to locate these two values on the number line. So let's say we have zeros right in the center. 2 would be somewhere here and at this point what I want you to do is I want you to draw a vertical line at x equals 2 and x equals to negative 4 will be somewhere over here so minus 4 again let's draw a vertical line at x equals negative 4 now what you want you to, now what I want you to do is let's bring x minus 2 under the spotlight I'm going to go back to a brighter color. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with red. Yeah. So, x minus 2. Now, suppose I plug in any value that happens to be greater than 2. This expression will come out to be positive. Let's say I plug in 3. So, any value greater than 2 when plugged in in this expression will give me a positive result. And at x equals to 2, it will come out to be 0. So, I'm going to put a 0 here. And any value plugged in in this expression, which happens to be less than 2, will give me a negative result. So that means for as long as I'm on the left side of 2, I will get a negative result. So here we are. Now let's bring, I'm going to switch to black again. Let's bring x plus 4 under the spotlight. So here we have x plus 4. I'm going to go back to the color red. Now if I plug in minus 4 in this expression in x plus 4 it will come out to be 0 exact however if i plug in any value that is greater than negative 4 let's say i plug in minus 3 so this expression will be will give me a positive result and as i said any value greater than negative 4 will give me a positive result however if i plug in any value that happens to be lesser than negative 4 suppose i plug in minus 5 so that will give me minus 1 so what that basically means is any value lesser than minus 4 will give me a negative result now notice here that these two expressions are being multiplied so that's exactly what i'm going to do here i'm going to multiply the two signs that we have got here minus minus gives me plus minus plus gives me minus plus plus gives me plus now let's go back to the inequality that was given to us we have here less than zero meaning that we are interested in the region where these the product of these two expression is a negative result and we can see here that we get a negative result for as long as your x lies between minus 4 and 2 so our final answer would be you can see that x is greater than 4 so x is sorry x is greater than negative 4 my bad x is greater than negative 4 and 
x is less than 2. So here we have an alternative method to solve a quadratic inequality. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and also make sure that you share this video with your friends. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you and happy learning.